Are you a brand new trader or are you a brand new trader to prop firm, AKA funding companies? If you're brand new, then let me tell you something. This is the only video you're ever going to need in order to get started trading for a prop firm. So take notes because by the time this video is done, you're going to be ready to hit up your first evaluation. Let's jump into it. You might be asking yourself, what's a prop firm, also known as a funding company? Very simple. It's a company that you can go and trade for and get paid to trade. You can go ahead and open up an account with them, which would be an evaluation account where you will be evaluated as a trader. There'll be certain set rules that you have to abide by. And if you meet the criteria, then you can start trading in an account that will actually pay you. Meaning once you hit profit targets and you stick to the rules, when payout time comes, you can request as little as a few hundred to a few thousand dollars that will be sent directly to your bank account, which will be money you can put in your pocket to pay bills, go on vacation, buy a brand new boat, whatever the hell you want to do with it, however much money you made with it. Now, let me show you what I think is one of the best prop firms in the industry right now, and definitely one of the leaders in the industry. It's a prop firm I trade for, and it's Apex Trader Funding. So if you go down there to the description or comment section, you'll find my link to Apex and you just click it. It'll take you right here and we can go ahead and go over what's going on, how it all works. Now, first thing I want to do is scroll all the way to the bottom of the page for you and go down here to the disclosure uh, section. And what I want you to notice is here in the evaluations, customers pass the, the customer pass rate of the evaluation program was 43.13%. That's pretty impressive because usually most traders fail at everything uh, regarding trading is, you know, whether they're trading crypto or small caps or futures or Forex or whatever they're trading. Generally, most traders fail. So seeing 40 over 43% of traders actually passing their evaluation is something that can give you a little bit of confidence in saying, Hey, this is possible. And it is possible. I've passed multiple evaluations and I've gotten multiple payouts well into the five figures at this point. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you what apex is about, how it works. We're going to go over the rules for the evaluations. And then we're going to go over the rules for how to make money and get paid from them. Once you're in a PA account known as a performance account, that's the account that you receive after you pass an evaluation. Okay. So the first thing we'll do here is we'll scroll down. You can see here, average uh, monthly compensation paid since January of 2023. That's what they're paying traders. The big picture, of course, total compensation since 2022, an obscene amount of money. We'll scroll down a little bit more here. Let's get down to the accounts, uh, the funding program. You know, why choose our funding program for Apex here? Well, you're going to receive 100% of the first $25,000 you make, and that's on a per account basis. Remember, you can trade up to 20 funded accounts, meaning that would be $25,000 per each account for 20 accounts in total. So let's say you have two accounts you're trading in. Well, you could have made $50,000 before you go from making 100% of the profits to just 90% of the profits, which I feel, still think it's amazing, right? You're gonna make 90%. So here you go, you get two payouts per month. Why it's a bi-weekly basically. The first through the fifth is the first window of the month where you can request payouts. And then the 15th through the 20th is the second window. You can trade full size if you want. There's no scaling rules. There's no daily drawdown. You can trade on holidays. Uh, you can. They trade your normal strategy, of course, within their rules. There are certain rules that you need to abide by, and we'll go over those rules here later in this video. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and scroll down. And you need to trade in your evaluation for seven trading days. Every once in a while, they have a special that goes on where if you pass your evaluation in one day, or two days or three days, it doesn't matter. As soon as you pass your evaluation, which can be as little as one day, you can go right into your funded account or your PA. But normally you would be trading seven days. So let's scroll down here and go to the accounts. Here you have your accounts, $250,000 account, $150,000 account. They also have larger accounts, 300,000. Let's scroll back here and I'm going to show you one of my favorite accounts to trade in. Um, I trade in the $250,000 account and the $50,000 account. Here you have a $50,000 account and you're allowed to trade up to 10 minis or 100 micros. Your profit goal, this is the very first thing you have to know is that when you're in this evaluation account, you need to reach a profit goal. 
In the $50,000 account, the profit goal is $3,000. In the $25,000 account, it's just $1,500. But you do have a trailing threshold in all of these accounts. In the 25K, it's $1,500. In the 50K, which is my favorite, is $2,500, which is damn good. Okay, that means if at any point in time you've lost $2,500, the account blows up and it's over and done with. Now, this is a trailing uh, threshold, meaning it will trail your unrealized PL. So let's say you open up your very first trade in this $50,000 account you're in this trade it goes to fifty thousand to fifty one thousand dollars and then it pulls back that trade you're in where you're up a thousand it pulls back and now you're only up 500 and you close it there and you book the 500 dollars profit well that trail did go up with it so instead of now being a 2500 dollars threshold it's going to be a two thousand dollar threshold i want to explain that trail there for you so you understand how it works okay there's no daily drawdown there's no scaling and then you either have a ninja trader license or you're going to have a trade of eight license in the uh in the rhythmic one which is this one it's going to cost you 167 dollars now currently there's an 80 percent off special as of today august the 4th so if you go 167 and you take 80 percent off you're going to pay 33 dollars and 40 cents for your account so it's a no-brainer now the way you pick that is you Go ahead, click there, Rhythmic. And here you have everything you're going to want to read before you sign up, uh, just so that you can go through the process as smooth as possible. You'll pick here whichever one of these you want to use to put your credit card information in. Doesn't really matter. Uh, you'll put your name, your email address, confirm your email address. You can put a username here uh, that you want to do, or you, maybe you can just put your name, uh, password confirm password you're going to put all that address uh, all the address phone number all that good stuff and then down here you go to enter coupon code it says here i agree not to use a coupon code do not click that just come here and then you're going to all caps put jesse w and that's going to give you the best and deepest possible discount available at any point in time throughout the year so whatever's the deepest discount that the firm has available when you put jesse w it will give you that discount the deepest possible discount available at the time of your purchase always so make sure you put all caps j-e-s-s-e-w in the coupon section now, once you finish the checkout process, you will, in this case, if you, if the special was still going on for the 80%, you'll pay the 33 and change every single month until you pass the account. Now, let's say you pass the account, the evaluation, you hit that profit target of $3,000 on your first attempt, on your first month. Let's say that's what happened. Well, now you're going to move on to a PA. Oh, but Jesse, what if I lost? What if, you know, I blew up the account? Well, you can always buy another account or reset that account if you like. More often than not, purchasing a new account would be the better bet uh, because you'll save more money. Now you've passed the account. The next step is to go on to your PA account. Congratulations. You're now a prop firm trader. You can trade and get paid. Now you'll receive a couple of emails and uh, you'll be prompted to go into uh, your account, sign your PA agreement. Very important. Read that PA agreement. It's going to have all the rules and everything you want to know regarding how to trade it and how you can request your payouts things that we're going to go over in this video so now to recap you find the evaluation you want to trade in you trade in it within the rules you reach your profit target then you move on to your pa account your funded account the one you will trade in and get paid my two favorite evaluations to trade in are the fifty thousand and the two hundred and fifty thousand dollar account simply put because the threshold to the profit target ratio makes total sense to me. And the $50,000 one is rather easy to get to $3,000 and you pass your evaluation. Now, once you've passed your evaluation, you have now the ability to start trading in a PA account and an account where you will actually get paid if you meet the criteria and reach the profit targets and make it to payout request time. Now, once you're there, you have two choices. One is you pay a monthly PA fee or you pay a lifetime PA fee. Depending on the account that you have, whether it's Rhythmic or Tradeovate, that PA fee will vary. But let's say on the $50,000 account, your lifetime on the Tradeovate is $160. Pay that one fee one time and you're done. You trade that account for as long as it remains alive or you can pay the monthly fee, which if I'm not mistaken, is $105. That's on trade of eight. If you're trading rhythmic, it tends to be cheaper, okay? Now, 
Once you pay that PA fee, your account will process and turn into a funded or a PA account. And this is the account that you're going to trade in and you're gonna get paid in if you can reach your profit targets. Now, let me show you what these look like. Okay, the very first thing here I want you to notice is that when you start in your PA, it's like starting from scratch. Your profits from your evaluation do not carry over. You basically get a brand new account, just like your evaluation one, and the same set rules, meaning you have a trailing drawdown, meaning you have a trailing drawdown. So if you have a $50,000 account, you have a $2,500 trailing drawdown, okay? And you wanna make sure that all your trades are closed before 4 59 p.m eastern standard time the day that you're trading now to reiterate on the trailing drawdown you want to make sure that you're familiar with this remember how i said earlier if you're in a trade in a fifty thousand dollar account and that trade has an unrealized profit of a thousand dollars meaning your unrealized balance on that account is fifty one thousand dollars and if you're long and the instrument you're trading pulls back and now you're only up $500 in profit, meaning the unrealized balance on the account is 50,500. You decide to close that trade right then and there with a $500 win and your account balance is now 50,500. That means that you, your unrealized or your threshold, your, your trailing drawdown, instead of being now $2,500, it is now $2,000. Always keep that in mind. Now, this trailing drawdown does go away once you your target here of the trail. So check it out. The trailing threshold will trail by the max drawdown amount until you reach the max drawdown plus $100. For example, if the max drawdown is $2,500 on a $50,000 account, it will stop trailing at $50,100. So you reach that level, right? Let's say you get to $2,600 in profit on that account, well, your, your trail now stops. It's over, it doesn't continue anymore, okay? But if your account balance ever gets down to 50,100, boom, you blew the account. So let's say you reach that account from 50,000, you take it all the way to 60,000. There's no trail. You could lose $5,000 in one day and not a damn thing happens. But if that balance of the account ever reaches 50,100, that account is done, it's dead in the water. Jesse, so how much money can I pull out What's the max? How does this all work? Well, once you start making money in that account, your very first three months of trading will have a limit on payouts. Okay, that limit is going to vary depending on the account. In your $50,000 account, you're going to have a max that you can withdraw of $2,000 your first three months, not in total, but each time you withdraw. Remember, you get two withdrawals every month that you're allowed to take. So, Theoretically, you can pull $2,000 of profit out on the beginning of the month and $2,000 in profit out at the end of the month, meaning out of one account, you can put in your pocket every month $4,000 for three months. After the three months are over, well, that goes away and there will no longer be that max limit. So let's say you, you took that $50,000 account to $100,000. You have $50,000 in profit there. Well, on month number four, you can request the full $50,000 if you want. Very important section I want you guys to familiarize yourself with so you don't freak out when you put in your payout request and it takes a while for it to either be approved, denied, or the money be sent. Request dates are the first through the fifth of the month. The payout happens on the 15th, meaning if you put in a request on the first day of the month, okay, and it gets approved on day number two or day number three or day number five, so payouts will happen between the first and the fifth. The payout happens on the 15th. So you can request between the 1st and the 5th, but the payout happens on the 15th. So approvals may happen anytime between the 1st and the 14th of the month. And that is at the start. Remember, you also have payouts on the 15th. No, approval does not mean your payment has been sent out. Payments are sent out by the 15th of the month and may take three to seven business days to reach your bank account. Requests that are made on the 15th, the latter half of the month, so between the 15th and the 20th, those payouts occur on the 30th or the last day of the month. Some months have 31 dates. Approvals may happen anytime between the 15th and the last day of the month. Again, note that though it does not mean that the money has been sent, it just means it's been approved. Your payment will be sent on the last day of the month and may take three to seven business days to reach your bank account. Very important guys, read this. Once you request a payout, you can immediately keep trading. You do not need to wait to trade until the payout is approved. 
Just be sure to trade as if the funds were already approved and removed from your balance, keeping in mind the minimum threshold so as you don't blow up the account. Remember, if you have $3,000 in profit on a $50,000 account and you request $2,000, your account will show a balance of 53. But if you want to keep trading that account, you can't, you shouldn't trade it like you have $3,000 there. You should trade it like you only have about $900 in wiggle room because if you blow up that account before the funds are pulled and sent well then you get nothing you blow up the account and you're you're denied you know you're not going to make the money you're not going to get money sent so you have to be attentive of that how do you request a payout well when it's payout time you just open up your dashboard you see here it says dashboard customer profile payout request payout payout methods you want to make sure that you click your payout method and you uh, put your bank account information there that you want the money sent to. Then when it's time to do your payout, you click request payout and you follow those uh, steps. Now, one key thing is you got to make sure that you've traded 10 individual trading days within the account. You're going to request payout. That's the only way to get there. You, you have to meet the minimum balance, which in a $50,000 account is $2,600. And you have to make sure you have traded 10 individual trading days. And then the next thing to this is going to be making sure that none of those days, like not one of those days is responsible for 30% or more of your profit. Okay. So you want to make sure that you didn't hit $2,000 on one day. And then the following days you made a few hundred bucks until you reached 600 bucks total out 2,600. That's not going to get you a payout. They want to see you be consistently profitable. They don't want to see you hitting one hit wonders. So if you make, thousand dollars in one day well you're gonna have to spread that amongst the rest of the remaining days to make sure that your that no one single day in those 10 trading days is responsible for 30 percent or more of your profit very simple it's not that difficult taxes you're responsible for your taxes you're gonna be 1099 at the end of the year all right and then here you have your minimum requirement balances in order to request payouts so not only is it the 10 days that you have to trade in you have to have that minimum balance in a twenty-five thousand dollar account you need a minimum balance of 26.6 50k account you need a minimum balance of 52.6 and then my other favorite account to trade in the 250k account you're going to need a balance of 256.6 okay very simple it's not that big a deal just keep an eye on that no, you're not required to leave a minimum balance. So, I mean, if you want to request $2,000, $2,000 on a $50,000 account, it's only going to leave you with a $500 balance or well, $600 balance. But remember, if the account hits 50,100, the account blows up. So if you only have 2,600 bucks and you request, you know, 2,000, you're just leaving yourself $500 in wiggle room. Chances of blowing that account are very, very high. So make sure that you're aware of that moving forward when you make your payout. The minimum you can request is $500 when you do a withdrawal. And remember, you have a maximum of $2,000 on the $50,000 account, $1,500 on the $25,000, $3,000 on the $250,000, and so on and so forth. Here are all your max. And these maxes are only in place for each payout request for three months. Okay. So, I mean, theoretically, if you have a one $250,000 account, you can make $6,000 in one month via two payouts, $3,000 at the beginning, $3,000 at the end. And you could do that for three months. Once you hit month number four, you can request whatever amount you want. There is no max. And the lastly, guys, remember each account is treated separately. So if you have 20 accounts, well, each account is its own individual, meaning $25,000 out of each account is all yours. If you make that much, okay, it's not like it's $25,000 in total for your, for your dashboard or something like that. No, each account. So if you had 10, $50,000 accounts and you make $2,000 on each one, well, guys, when it's payout time, you can request $20,000 and put it in your pocket. Just that simple. You do that twice a month, $40,000. So that's the way that works. And you can have 20 accounts. You could have put $80,000 in your pocket in one month if you're a good trader and you get the job done. And I think that's it, guys. I think I covered everything that you need to know from start to finish on how to get started with Apex Trader funding. Any questions at all, drop them in the comment section below. Smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And I hope to see you on another one. Peace.